guys. Um, this is another lighthouse alert. Where did it go? There we go. There are five cards that are coming up like crazy for the masculines at this time. So this is when I put a report out when things are kind of repetitive. Who I wanted to make a reminder to. Um, a lot of extreme, exciting, miraculous things are happening and a lot of really dumpy, horrible accidents and things <laughs> are happening um, at this time. So try to go with the flow with the negative stuff. Try to raise your vibration back up. And a lot of the miracles are actually happening for light workers, people who are in line with their divine life purpose. So those guys are getting rewarded with the miracles as well as the bad stuff, but they still have the mix. But then there's, you know, those of you who've been in the low vibration for quite some time, you're only really experiencing the negative stuff. So that kind of tells you where you're at. Maybe if the miracle stuff isn't happening, um, do something about it. Shift your vibration because the new earth is starting to take shape and we're like choosing sides. So this is part of the part of the separation in a sense. It's a test. You can pass. I believe in you. You can do it. All right. So the cards that have been coming up for the masculines lately, like crazy, like every single spread, <laughs> every spread. The hanged man. The thing that people don't like about the hanged man is you don't hear from him when he's in that mode because. Um, He's in suspense. <laughs> He's in suspense. But the incredible thing about the hangman, what I love about the hangman is it means Satori. <laughs> and it means that you're having a profound uh, aha moment, like a big realization, a big epiphany. And you're just like, what? What? Are you kidding me right now? Like, what? So... The hangman causes those moments to happen, and it is those moments happening. So the cards along with it are emperor, judgment, chariot, and strength. Guess what those mean? The emperor is someone who, if, if you're looking at all four suits, like you've got cups, wands, swords, and coin, pentacles. So it, in order to be like a really well-balanced, powerful leader, you need to be all for, you need to have all those qualities of passion and purpose and inspiration and love and a balanced, good communicator, very logical thinker and someone who can produce money and knows how to manifest and knows how to feel abundant and be abundant. And totally it's the emperor is a man who's in his power um, in the positive. I'm talking about the positive. Um, there's reverses that also mean like he can be kind of a control freak, but you got to be sometimes when you're a leader, you got to know how to control things. So um, judgment, judgment is making a judgment call, making a huge major judgment call, being called to something by even angels or dreams or just like going, oh my God, I got to do this. Like I got, so you've already had the what moment. Now it's like, well, I got to do something. Like I got to do something now. And it's like, it's like, it's about past lives as well. Realizing you might have past lives with somebody or just being like, there has to be something incredible about this, whatever this is, that we must have past life history or something's going on because this is like insane. Like, this is so crazy the way that I feel about this person or whatever. You know, I'm all about love. So this is where we're going with this. Um, obviously there are other interpretations of this that talk about like just being in your power in general and things like that, of course. But I'm just saying most of us are, you know, we love somebody and it's just like, this person is like, wow, like this is, this is something different. This is something that I've never experienced before. And so then, uh, the chariot chariot is about balancing things out kind of taking control, taking the lead and taking off. It's like, it's like, Jumping in a chariot with horses and yeah, let's go. And it's just like full steam ahead. It's like unstoppable. It's an energy that's like, you can't stop me. You just try and stop me. There's just no way. Get out of my way. So, and then the last card is strength. Strength is, sometimes strength is like trying to get up the strength, trying to get up the courage to take action, to do all this stuff. 
or it can be they're feeling strong. They're feeling stronger than ever. There's something about this epiphany and stepping into his power and making a major judgment call to fly forward that's making him feel really strong and unstoppable. Isn't this incredible, you guys? In every spread across the board, these five cards are showing up. It's crazy. So what that says to me, I don't know what these epiphanies are necessarily because a lot of these cards, I'm like, well, they already knew you were the love of their life. So what's the aha moment? A lot of them still are trying to get rid of the karmic though. The karmics are like hanging on their ankles, <laughs> like, like cannibals, you know, they're just like, don't leave. They tr they're trying every, every trick in the book. They always do. Um, shit. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I had my, um, I, I was with my karmic for like four years after knowing my true love back when I was the masculine. Yeah. So man, if, you know, if he would have stayed alive, he would have been pretty aggravated the whole time. You did just been like, leave him. He is so bad for you. If this is just a terrible situation you're in, you know, but I had to, I had to realize my worth. I had to step into my power to know what, like, well, you know what? I'm deserving of somebody totally appreciating and loving me for exactly who I am without having to change anything or walk around on eggshells, afraid that this person's going to like erupt and get all pissed off and me having to be this totally different person or a different person in many, many different ways to make him happy or constantly had to watch him or constantly had to like all this uncomfortable stuff. You know, I had to be like, what am I doing? I want to enjoy my life. I want to giggle and laugh and tickle with somebody and go run on the beach and go have fun and just like let loose and, and be like super comfortable, you know, with someone. But it takes, sometimes it takes years, you guys. Sometimes it takes years for them to realize this, but dang, this is pointing to it. This is saying these guys are, are getting to this point. Your man is waking up and it's, it's like, it's, and he's, he's really, having some incredible ideas right now and he's working on it. Seven of, of coins is also there quite a bit. So he's planning, strategizing. Seven of swords has been there quite a bit. So planning, strategizing, wanting to surprise you. I mean, it's, it's really beautiful, exciting energy. I mean, these guys are totally, they, they're, they're probably inspiring those around them and probably maybe pe the people around them are even like, are you crazy? Like you've never acted like this. I don't know why you're acting like this. Like, this is what are you going to do? What you're going to move? Where you're going to travel? Where are you going to, what, who, what, you know, they're going to be like, um, kind of shocked probably by this kind of energy. If you knew some people who knew these masculines, they're probably pretty impressed by what they're about to do or will be when they do it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, also, sometimes people's divine masculines come to me in the middle of the night and say messages. And last night they were so active and I just kept waking up and typing it and going back to sleep and waking up and typing the next one. So I just want to share them with you because obviously it's one of your guys' masculines that have, are saying this. Um, there's a few songs and a few phrases. Okay, so I, um, one of them is, I wish you were here. He just felt like, and this could be like, it could be a group of masculines that are all saying this to the, to the feminine. Yeah, I just got a yes. Um, it's like they're enjoying these certain things, like they're going out and camping and they're having fun or they're traveling somewhere or they're doing something so cool that they know that you would love. That if you were there, it would make the moment so much more special. Or if they could be hanging out with you instead of other people, they'd be like, man, she would just make that so much of a better time. So they're definitely missing you and they're definitely looking forward to reconnecting with you and feeling that again. And, and, or if they haven't even met you yet, but they know who you are or something like that, it's like the same type, type of dynamic. Like they fantasize, like, what will that be like? I wish you were here. Um, the next one is a revving motorcycle. Like, uh, obviously you guys know what the sound of a revving motorcycle is. But it kind of, it was like, come on, let's, let's get going already. You know, like, like, let's go on this adventure. Let's hop on the back. I'm taking control now. I'm taking lead. I'm going after this. Like I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving my insecurities and fears in the, in the dust. Let's just go. Let's go have fun. 
Um, let me see if there's anything else from that guy. Oh, it also is like life is too short not to take risks. Because, you know, you always warn people who are riding motorcycles, you know, you could die, you could get in an accident, something like that. And it's like there's so much worry energy around that. But sometimes, like one time, I had a guy who, who was like, let's, let's take a trip through Yellowstone. And I was like, really? Okay. And we took like a, like a two or three hour trip on the back of this Harley. And I actually fell asleep. It was so, it was so beautiful and so peaceful and the vibration and everything just like totally made me fall asleep on the back of this motorcycle. Thank God I still stayed on. But afterwards, like we got caught up in this crazy storm. It was just, we were absolutely completely drenched. And then we went to Chico Hot Springs afterwards to soak in the hot springs it was like it was so incredible you guys it was just awesome so that's what this makes me think of is um you know it's like come on let's go you know um the next one is don't worry i'm coming back for you we haven't finished finished our game and it felt like basketball for some reason it made me think of there was there was a movie like um father of the bride or something like that where the where the girl that where the dad and the girl were out playing basketball that kind of like popped in my head only it was a masculine with a feminine and they were running around kind of playing basketball but i think it's also like don't worry i'm coming back for you we haven't finished our game like it could be like you know uh an actual board game or it could be just about anything that you guys didn't finish or something he considered to be uh, maybe something that he would have wanted to continue with you, and that's not over. So he's coming back. Um, all right, and then the next three are songs. The Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Ed Sheeran, Thinking Out Loud. And I had a good feeling like I've never, ever had before. I don't know who sings that song, but you could always put that in, the, in Google, look up the lyrics. I had a good feeling like I've never, ever had before. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a spazzy song a little bit. It's an upbeat kind of fun song. Anyway, <sighs> so good things are about to happen, you guys. Good things are about to happen. So do not give up hope on your man and be sending him loving energy. You know, pray for his protection, pray for his support. Um, also, I've got a, an ideal love meditation that can help you be in a really receptive state of imagining what it'll be like to be in a relationship with him. And if, it, if you're not going to be with your like twin flame or whatever label you want to put on it, just put that energy out there so that you can bring back like, like a really beautiful relationship. You know, you'll be attracting that by putting that energy out there. Also, I wanted to mention that if you... Um, the way, that, the way that I like to manifest to and from work, I just thank the universe for everything, both things that I have and things that I want, as if they've already happened. Thank you so much for my incredibly successful career. Thank you so much for my beautiful fans. Thank you so much for my incredible friends. Thank you so much for my um, supportive family and friends and that everybody just always rallies around me and helps me out. I'm so grateful that everybody's always got my back. I'm so grateful that I always know what I need to know when I need to know it. I'm so grateful that I know the truth in all things. I'm so grateful that I can help everybody with everything in every possible way that I can. I'm so grateful that I've got abundance just pouring in from every direction in every way, shape, and form. I'm so lucky. I feel so in love. I feel so happy to be in this incredible relationship. It's just making me bust out on all on all ends from every area. <laughs> It's like, just, you know, roll with it and just be super, super grateful for things that you have and have not had yet, but will, um, like that. You don't know which of those things I actually have going on and which I don't. But when you put that energy out as if you have all of that, that's what you're pulling in. That's what you're attracting. That's the beautiful thing about it. It doesn't actually have to be real. It's going to come anyway. And I've seen so much proof of this, you guys. So believe me. Um, say those powerful things to yourself. Don't waste your time worrying on your way home or on your way to work or whatever. Don't be thinking about all the things you have to do. You can, you can do that when you get there. Um, oh, wait. Hang on. 
Oh, be jotting down your dreams right now. Dreams are really like um, revealing things right now too. Oh, there's a good dream book back behind me. Um, if you can see, it, it's got the it's blue with the red label. Something about dream. Or, oh, I'll put it in the link below. Um, anyway, that's a really good book to look up symbolism things that happen in dreams. But that's another good thing. If you're like awake at night and you you keep thinking of all these things that need to happen or that you need to do. Like write it in your notes, you get it out of your head and on paper, so the next day you can actually get on it. Um, that way, you don't like waste hours thinking about all that stuff. Try to stay in the moment when you're in bed and you can't sleep. Try to get out of your head and totally just like cuddle into the covers and feel whatever you can. Just being totally in the moment, and it'll help you fall back asleep. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and try to keep a dream diary if you haven't been. Like, just jot down the, whatever you remember. If you just say, I saw tennis shoes, then it's actually going to help you remember more things later if you keep writing down just little tiny things that you remember from each dream, even if you don't remember a lot. Don't worry about it. Just write something down. It's going to start helping you, um, helping your brain start to remember, remember more. I know that there's something else. What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. Anything else the feminines need to know? How about the feminines energy lately? Feminines, they they're they're still sifting through options. They're still trying to figure it out. You know, they're coming to me trying to figure out like which which one is the best for me. I don't want to end up with a karmic. I don't want to end up with another karmic cycle. Some of these masculines are taking taking so long that it's been really tough for the feminines. They want to hold out, but at the same time, it's like they're, they're ready for a relationship. They're ready to go. They're feeling stable. They're feeling good about themselves. They're feeling healthy. And um, things are really working out for them. So they want to share that with somebody. And some of them are considering settling for somebody that they, that they know isn't the one that they want. So um, if you need help sorting that out, you can come to me. You can get a, get a reading from me at amysatori.com. The wait is only like, you know, seven to 10 days, not too bad at all. Um, okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> Have a great night, you guys. Um, oh, okay. They said to give you guys like a light language blessing to help support in all of this energy. Okay, and if something comes up during the blessing, I'll let you know. Okay. Hi, Mokonsa, Aleshikina, Aleti Timbo, Mbae. All right, one of the things that they said was that you need to um, write down what you want your life to be like. Instead of like trying to like look at all these different guys and what they're doing and how they're acting and the, you know, how it's progressing or how it's not progressing or how this one pulls back and that one st still keeps going forward, this one's more consistent, this one goes to you. you know, um, just put the intention of what it is that you want to achieve at the end, like what kind of life do you want to be living? What kind of what kind of environment do you want to be in? Where do you want to live? Like what types of cars do you want to be driving? Like really think into your future in terms of like how you even want to feel. That ideal um, ideal love meditation that I'm going to put a link to below um, can help you kind of imagine that too. Like what you're trying to create, basically try to um, try to really cultivate those feelings for that environment in the future. And then see which one of these guys like measures up with that ultimate um, happy ending that you want. That's going to help you. You'll be like, hmm, I think if I went this one, I'm not going to feel that peace. If I went with this one, I'm not going to feel that silliness. If I go with this one, it's not going to make me feel like, you know, I can really trust this person and tell them everything, you know? So just fill it up by that. Um, let me see what else. Has she keep it so no look at it in Ina? So they're also saying, like, go with the one that feels that you're a gift from God. The one that really sees you as the sparkling star that you are. And the one who really believes in you and can totally be himself with you as well. You're looking for vulnerability, kindness consistency once it's able to be there. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, heart on their sleeve. That's what you want. 
All right, guys, have a beautiful night and talk to you next time. <laughs>